So just to record something for YouTube, if you are if you're watching on YouTube, what is up? How's it going? This is going to be the Shadow Abyss list for Phase Three, and we're going to be running six-piece PVP set from the Blood Guard or if you're on Alliance, whatever rank seven is. I actually have no fucking idea. Um, it's pretty handy, easy to get. Nice little chill six set. So we've got the helm, we've got the shoulders, chest, gloves, legs, and boots. And obviously you'll have some other things from previous phases. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to switch those on and drop three sets. You can run the spider silk boots for the on use, right? There's, um, where is it? The shoulders from this phase are quite nice. Even without the equip, they've got good stats on. So you can chuck those on. And then the helm from the previous phase as well, which has a really nice on use. So what you can do is use those items and then switch them off while they're on cooldown into the six set. Your other options are going to be the Malevolent 3 set, which gives a really nice damage bonus, but you sacrifice a lot of stamina for it. So you can potentially use this in certain situations, but that's up to you to figure that out. Um, pick them up, I would say, and hold on to them. And then when you figure out good situations for them, you can chuck them on as well. But yeah, it'll be important to make some gear sets to swap around there. Uh, neck is just Jindos. Then we've got the Deep Woodlands Cloak from the quest in Hinterlands. We've got the engineering braces. They are very slightly better than the Warsong Gulch exalted braces. A little bit more stamina and intellect. Very comparable damage. And then they've got the bonus perk of being immune, immune to fear for 15 seconds, which is awesome. Then for weapon, we've got the nightmare focus stuff, which just has an insanely high stats on it overall. Uh, and you can probably get more damage and healing with a main hand offhand. Since this is, you know, in the game, this is like 30 shadow damage, which is really high, but there's no stamina or intellect on this, so you're definitely going to be a lot weaker with it. The option for the Furbog patch is good too, and the Skull of Impending Doom in the offhand. So make sure you pick up a main hand. Most likely the Hubris is going to be handy as well. And then you can swap those around potentially if you want to be playing with Skull for things like Warsome Gulch uh, or Dueling Mages or anything like that. Then for the belt, it's going to be the Cord of the Untamed. The Banthok Sash is very comparable as well from BRD. And then Rings. Nice, easy one to get from Blood Shards from the Blood Moon event. There's an upgraded version of the ring, so you can grab that. And then from Exalted, from the new Emerald, uh, the Nightmares rep. This is a banger. If I can find it. It's down here somewhere. Whatever, it's here. Um, good stamina on it and really nice proc. So when you get this proc, you can have like a little weak aura for it. Chuck up some dots. They're going to absolutely truck. And then we've also got this trinket, which is increasing spell damage by 96 on use. So if you if you use this at the same time as the proc and potentially the tailoring helm, you're going to get like, you know, over 200 more damage on that set of dots. And with those being able to crit as well, they're going to absolutely, uh, absolutely chunk somebody. So that's uh, very cheeky. I believe this is from the raid. But there's no drop location on this yet. But I'm by the looks of it, it's from the raid. Uh, Nightmare focus stuff is most likely also going to be from the rep, same as the roar of the dream. But no confirmed location for that one yet. Then obviously we've got the greater insignia and then woe stave from the priest quest for ST. Now there's a few different trinkets obviously that you can run as well. Obviously you got things from last phase. You got the spell pen trinkets. You got things like the armor trinket. Uh, you got all sorts, right? That you can switch in and out. Classic is very much a trinket swapping game, so be ready to have a load of different trinkets and an item rack at the ready. You've even got the Dark Moon card, Torment. This looks very sketchy. Probably worth grabbing. But it's not too expensive. You've got AGM. You know, you've got um, reflectors as well. You got the Ice Reflector, Shadow Reflector, all that good stuff. Glimmering Insignia for Fear Immunity, Nifty Stopwatch, you know, the list goes on. Gnomish Death Ray, Dragonlings, uh, Net, Tidal Charm, you got the Freedom Trinket here, <laughs> you know, there's so much stuff. Goblin Morse is also insane, does so much damage and an instant stun. Uh, you got the Chicken, you got Battle Chicken as well, you got the Death Trinket. <laughs> You've probably got like 20 different trinkets that you can use, so, you know. Make sure you got them. Um, you got a nice big bag <laughs> ready to uh, swap them around because there's going to be a lot of different situations where you can use a different trinket. So world of trinket craft is definitely back this phase. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the the bis list. 
I'm not going to go too much into more detail for like PvE and that sort of stuff unless people really want to see it. But this is my Shadow PvP one. If there's anything that's that's new that comes out that I haven't got on the list, I'm sorry. I can't time travel. But uh, do leave a comment and let me know. And I will adjust this in accordance with that. And this will be in the description. So the most updated version of the bus list will be in the description of the video. But the video will remain. So the WoW, uh, the, sorry, the Shadow Priest talents for Phase 3 are pretty similar to the last phase. So you pretty much just run. So I'm probably going to put some in tap and I'm going to put some in this, right? You want to put one in flay, two in this. I'll probably put one more in tap. Tap is nice for basically everything except duels in terms of keeping your mana up. You're going to get a lot of last, last hits because of death. And tap is just this really nice passive regen that you're going to be able to get all the time. Okay, so this is basically the, the points in shadow. Same from last phase. But now you want to chuck five in this and two in this. This is going to help with your pushback when you've got a melee on you. And then you can chuck two in healing focus. And this will help if you swap to penance or something. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice in terms of... Uh, not getting any pushback. Pen Penance basically doesn't get pushback when you have healing focus. And you can put the last point. I would say actually it's nice to put the points in V. Maybe you can, can we no. This is annoying. I would say probably do this. This is probably the best build you can do. Or you can do this. This might not be too bad either. Because you're if you're getting crit a lot by a melee, like a pet or a rogue or a warrior, or whatever. Then you might have good uptime on this anyway. I have to test this out because if it, you, you really want to have maximum uptime on this, because this will allow you to cast mind blasts and mind flays and mind spikes in people's face when you have mobs hitting you. Think about it: if you have like homies hitting you as well and critting you all the time, when you get a proc of this, you just have a weak aura shouting in your face. You can get off, get away with so many more casts because you have this right. So, fifty percent might not might be enough. If it's not, then go for this. Right, this is our options right now, I would say. So this is going to be the Shadow PvP build for our next phase. The Imp VE is very nice for group content. Not as valuable in solo content, obviously, because it's only healing one guy instead of four or five. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. As for runes, uh, I think it's going to be Eye of the Void because you can put Tongues or Curse of Shadow on people, which basically makes them take more damn last three minutes. And it also does very handy single target damage. Uh, I think Void Plague most of the time is going to be good, but I'll talk about that again in a minute. I think Despair in general is going to be the go-to one. Void Zone is quite nice. I've tested it out a little bit. And it's it's pretty big. It does really good damage. So you will be able to, if you get this off, you will be able to like stand in it and force melee to not hit you or take a, a good chunk of damage. It's basically taken for like 120 every sec for 10 secs. So it, it's it's a decent dot, essentially, if they stand in it. But it's two second cast, so it's actually tricky to get off. So I think generally is Despair is going to be the play. Uh, obviously, Death. Waste is just Mind Spike. Legs is going to be Homies most of the time. And then Feet is obviously Dispersion. Now, Chest, you can also switch to Twisted Faith if you are playing the uh, the Burst build. And if you run that, you will most likely also be running Shared Pain. And it will, you can do this for like things like Warsong, for Arathi Basin, and uh, Blood Moon. And this is going to give you really nice, uh, first of all, AoE damage potential with Pain. And we've got a really good rank of Pain this time, which buffs this a lot. Makes this really nice. However, in duels, you'll definitely want to be running Homies. And uh, same thing, duels, Void Plague, going to be very, very strong. And in general, in general, with having the dot crit rune, the Void Plague is synergizes very nice with that. Um, if you want to run Twisted Faith, then maybe running Void Zone instead could be better. Consider also, though, that Mind Flay does count as a dot. So Despair will allow the Mind Flay to crit. So mess around with that. See what you prefer. See if you get any value out of Void Plague. Uh, sorry, uh, out of Void Zone in the, you know, the group settings, the group scenarios. Could be a good way of farming a, a load of shards, that kind of thing as well. So you can switch interchangeably between between these two. Uh, same with these two. And same with these two, depending on content. Others, I think, are mostly going to be static. Maybe you can swap out to penance sometimes, depending on 
the scenario if you drop combat and need a heal or if you're doing a duel against something the way you don't need death so that's my talents and runes for shadow pvp for phase three obviously if anything gets buffed and nerfed this may change we'll have to wait and see it's very early in the phase anyway thank you very much for watching have a good one